Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? That's Aaron Carter shooting to fame back in the late 90s after releasing a series of hit songs, including Aaron's Party and, oh, who can forget, Crush on You. My daughter was his biggest fan. He also <laughs> starred in the reality series House of Carters with his brother, Backstreet Boy Nick, and competed on Dancing with the Stars. This year, he returned to his musical roots by launching a North American tour. Aaron Carter is in the house on The Morning Show. Good morning. How you doing? Thanks Good for having morning. me. Great to have you here. Just as we were in the break uh, and coming up with that video, and you looked at it and you said, you know, you're 25 and you've been in this business for 18 years. Yep, 18 years. What kind of life is like? So, did you go to school? Yes, I did. Of you course, did? yeah. Actually, you, like, I, I, I mean, rather I, than just having tutors or things like that, you were still in regular school. Every I day? started off in regular school, and I, I, I stopped at about second grade, and then from second grade, I entered into homeschooling, and then I just knocked it all out. You know, did homeschooling as I toured because you know I started so young, so I, you know, of course, obviously, I had to get my education. So, do you ever wonder what a normal childhood would have been like? You know, it, my normality is within my life, and that's how I look at it. It's like, you know, I, I, I was talking to my mother the other day, and, and she was like, you know, everyone always says, you know, it, do you wish you had a normal childhood? And she said, you know, Aaron, you had a great childhood. You had, you've had tons of girls screaming at you and throwing you gifts on stage, and you got to see the world. And when, when you, you know, did, in, you, you did a. Um, you know, history lessons and stuff. You were there, actually. You got to see the the things in in different in different places. So, you know, I had a great childhood. I feel like you almost had two lives. You know, Aaron Carter, the stage star, and then Aaron Carter, the son of. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I went home off of tours and stuff, I, you know, I rode four wheelers and played with my dogs and rode on boats and went fishing and stuff like that. That's that's what I did. <laughs> now at the same time, child fame is just no joke. We see so many examples of, of, of kids who are just not able to go through adolescence without some sort of trouble. Right. Did, did you experience some of that? And oh, how absolutely. did you deal with it? Yeah, you know, um, well, I, you know, I started off a very young, you know, young performer. So I started off as a kid, which a lot of performers these days who are kids, they start off kind of as preteens and teenagers, not, not really as little, little kids, you know? So I started off as a little kid and, and then I made my transition into a preteen, released an album, my second album for my preteen years, Aaron's Party. And then I did, you know, I made my transition into being a teenager and now I'm just making the transition in, into being an adult. In, in it. And yes, of course, I, I faced a lot of struggles and, um, you know, I had lots of times where, uh, drugs and things like that were presented to me and if, you know I dabbled in those kind of things you know and I partook in it and it got me into a lot of trouble and you know had to start and figuring things out. It's tough especially going through it where you're sitting there and everybody is like you know Aaron you are can get anything you want you are the best and it's, it plays with your your head I would imagine right? Yeah right. I, absolutely because you get people that are yes people right. and of course you want those kind of people around you you know because it's life. just motivating yeah. but it's in, in, a, in a sense. But you, you had know? a big brother to look up to right yeah. did you did he guide you did he help you out I mean there he is uh, Nick Carter in the Backstreet Boy group did that help? Or? You know the thing is with Nick and I is that we were always pretty much on the other side of the world from each other. So N Nick really couldn't help even if he wanted, he couldn't really do that even if he wanted to. So it was kind of something that I, it was a, a you know, a, a battle that I had to pretty much do on my own. And, and I, I talk to people about this all the time and I say, you know, yes, I understand where, where I went and, 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 and what happened. And, it, and it, when I was about 15 years old, my mother and father were my managers and, you know, they were pulling at me left and right. And then all of a sudden, you know, they divorced. And then when they divorced, as a kid, I'm like, okay, you know, where do I go? You know, what do I do? So when I turned 18 years old, I was just kind of standing there on my own trying to figure it out. And at that time, there was a lot of damage had been done. My parents were fighting each other in the media and stuff like that. And it, it just became, it became very difficult. And for me, uh, record, record executives wouldn't sign me. Producers wouldn't make, make beats for me. Writers wouldn't write songs for me. Publicists wouldn't book me stuff. And booking agents wouldn't get me concerts. So I had to start trying to figure out, OK, what am I going to do you know, to lay down the ground and, and start rebuilding myself and rebuilding my life? And I invested most of the money that I had made in, from, in my trust account into uh, 
producing gear and like you know equipment and yeah. stuff and then I learned how to become a producer because producers would so I said okay if someone's not going to produce music for me I'm going to figure it out on my own wow. you know and I'm going to figure out because I have millions of fans out there and I have to find a way to get out there and you know during the course of all that I was still dealing with addiction problems and and you know going through that as well and it was very difficult and I had a lot of proving to do and then um, when I was 19 towards the end of that year uh, dancing with the stars an opportunity you know came up and I was like oh my god here we go you know this is my this is my chance you know and I did dancing with the stars and it, it was a lot of pressure and a lot of anxiety ridden you know and then physically challenging yeah. too oh yeah, yeah completely physically challenging and did it do for your career what you hoped it would it's it's actually funny because i always say god works in mysterious ways you know and and the way it was kind of laid out for me was I did Dancing with the Stars, and it kind of got me ready, like, my, brushed me up on my dancing skills, right? right? And then a year and a half after that, I auditioned for an off-Broadway play on Broadway in New York City called The Fantastics. Oh, wow. And I completed over 415 shows in a course of like a year and, and eight months or something, eight shows a week. And the only two breaks that I took was my sister died of a drug overdose last year, her funeral, and then my grandpa's funeral this year. And those are the only two breaks that I took. And I, you know, that was my proving ground. It was like, okay, I gotta really prove myself. And a, a, a booking agent that used to work for Live Nation came to me and he said, you know, I noticed that you've been on the Fantastics for a long time and of course you know through the course of that I was like yeah you know when is anything gonna come from this you know like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and I'm just praying you know and I I prayed every night I said God please you know let me tour again let me tour and the booking agent came to me and he said you know I believe in you I think that we can get you out on tour and he booked me and 19, 19 shows sure. and then it went from 19 to 40 to 75 completed 75 earlier this year and I booked another 75 oh, well you're putting right the now. work so in that's you're my story <laughs> Amazing. And you're performing tonight in Kingston? Sure am. Yeah. And then you will be in Vancouver in November. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah, for thank coming you for on me. and Sorry. talking to us and being so candid. Yeah, yes. of course. My pleasure. Think, thank I you for having you me. You were very inspiring because you are so honest. And we were saying that earlier. A lot of people aren't honest about life. You are, and a lot of people are going to identify with you. Yeah. So continued success. Well, thank you for having me. Appreciate and I appreciate it. everyone that comes out to see me. Thanks, Aaron.